Hello, back to Sewers, and welcome to FSV TV. I'm Colleen Geely, and coming up, I'm going to demonstrate how to create your own collar choker. Now, this is what, what a collar choker looks like, and it's so super easy to do. It's a really simple project, and it looks amazing on and you'll be making so many of these over the next few weeks once you know how to create one. So what you're going to need for this project are a seam ripper or stitch and pick, whatever you prefer to call it, and make sure it's sharp. You're going to need some invisible snap fasteners and a needle and thread. Now I've chosen to as you all know out there, I love my hand sewing. So I've chosen to finish off mine with a slip stitch. So I'll show you um, in a minute how that looks. Um, but for this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and use my sewing machine because that's a lot quicker and some of you out there would prefer to use your sewing machine, I know. But do get on with the hand sewing. It's a, it's a, great, it's a great skill to have and it'd be amazing. Um, how much hand sewing can improve your sewing skills and also help make your garments look a lot more beautiful as well. So let's get started. So here we have the shirt and we're only going to be removing the stitching of the collar stand here that's attached to the shirt. So if you don't know how to use a seam repair correctly then I do have a video tutorial on that and I'll put the link in the description. So you want to make sure that you use a sharp one, yeah, because you don't want to damage the collar at all and just start to unravel the stitches. So you're going to do that all the way until the end. So now that we've removed the collar from the rest of this shirt, we can discard that. You're left with your collar choker. Now, as I said earlier, you've got two options the way you're going to finish off the stand part of the collar. So we can do an edge stitch or you can do a slip stitch. So with this one I did earlier, I slip stitched mine rather than sewing by machine. So you have two choices there. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and then I'm going to edge stitch along the original, if I can stay within the original stitching of the shirt when it was attached to, of the collar when it was attached to the shirt. Um, but as, as I said, you need to do an edge stitch. So there we have our edge stitch of our collar on the sewing machine. And the final thing to do then is to get your snaps and you just break them off, it's quite easy. Just give it a little twist and give it on a little twist. And then it's ready for some hand sewing because the problem is that once you remove the collar from the shirt, it, there's movement and we want to keep that movement um, under control so the collar sits beautifully once it has been worn. So let me just show you with this collar so you can see what I mean. I'll just button that. Oh, see, we've got this movement that's going on here, and once it's sitting on the around your neck, you want that to be a little bit more stable and also an opportunity to kind of show off that button as well. So, in order to do that, we're going to have to put some snaps on there. So, these invisible snaps, where are they? <laughs> um, is what needs to be sewn on in order to stop that movement. So if I show you on this one, 
where I've put the snaps, one at the bottom and one at the top on either side so that you have greater control. It just stops it from moving. And that is what you want to achieve. You want that beautiful look to the collar, stableness to the collar. Start into place. And that's what you're looking for, just so that it tucks under there and looks beautiful. So there we have it, the collar choker. A simple and super easy project, and an amazing little product at the end. So cute. So what I will do is put all the links to the techniques that I've used in this uh, video in the description. Hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.